I previously performed a stripped-down review of a Starking Mechanical Automatic Watch, and I was extremely surprised at what you received for the relative low cost. It seemed crazy to me that such a high-quality case and bracelet coupled with a sapphire crystal and nicely manufactured dial and hand could possibly only cost somewhere around $50. I then stripped that movement to pieces and I found that it was let down by manufacturing defects with the movement and to be blunt, very poor quality control with its bottom of the range Chinese movement and this movement being quite a let down considering the quality of the rest of the watch. But okay, it was a $50 watch, so how could I complain? But many of you mentioned a different brand of a similar price in the comments of that video named Cadison. And this watch having a Japanese manufactured Hattori NH36A movement as opposed to the Chinese DG2813 movement found in the Starking watch. The Hattori NH36A is a variant of the Seiko 7S36, 7S26 and is generally considered to be a very robust and reliable movement. In checking the price of the Cadison, I could see that the price was actually similar to the Starking and so I thought that it might be interesting to see the differences. So I ordered one, and here we can see it arrived nicely wrapped in film, and I swiftly removed this to find the case and bracelet to be of a similar quality to the Starking, but in my opinion the Starking did feel actually a little bit more premium in the hand. However, that didn't concern me as much as the fact that the watch was actually not working. I mean, well, it was working, the watch was ticking, the seconds hand was turning, but the hour and the minute hands were not turning. Now, I suspected that the can opinion may have been the problem. I had planned to strip this movement down anyway, so it's not really a big deal, but this was obviously very unlucky that I received a dead on arrival model, despite the many good reviews this watch seems to receive. So let's start by removing the watch movement from the case and start the investigation. And here you can observe that the whole of the dial is actually not dead center. Now this is an immediate red flag. Notice how the day disc seems to have a lot of movement. This is definitely a concern and suggests that the Canon Pinion is not seated correctly on the center wheel arbor. This would actually explain the symptoms that we've already observed. And yes, you can see that the hour wheel and the cannon pinion are indeed loose. This should not be a problem to fix, but first I'd like to see a reading on the time graph and judge its current timekeeping.
and all looks good until we turn the movement into that pendant forward position and then we can see a significant change of over 20 seconds per day. So there's quite a bit of positional error here. Now I can see the real reason why the cannon pinion is loose, and unfortunately, it's a game stopper. The center wheel arbor is actually completely snapped off and stuck in the cannon pinion. Now this is exactly the reason why the hour and minute hands fail to turn whilst the watch is actually running. Now in my mind, the most likely cause of this would be a shock of some sort, or the center wheel had a manufacturing defect, perhaps. However, we did observe that the whole of the dial was off center and this lends more weight towards the watch having received a shock. The dial shifted with such force as to cause the center arbor to snap. Whether this happened during assembly or whilst the watch was being shipped, well, that's anybody's guess, but here we are. I checked on the Cousins website to see if parts were available for the NH36A And with regret, the only choices we are presented with is a new calendar disc, a new movement, or a new winding stem. So I decided to purchase a new movement, so at least I could get this watch working again. This movement is strikingly similar to the Seiko 7S26 movement, so I was interested to see how the hacking feature worked. But here we can see the additional gearing which allows this module to be manually wound, something which the original Seiko movement lacks. And here is the broken wheel. Now I have a Scrap 7S26 here, so let's have a quick look and see if the center wheel is interchangeable. And whilst they do look similar, the cannon pinions are of a different length, and clearly the center wheel is not the same. 
Let's take a, a look at the a broken arbor. I'm just using a fine screwdriver to push it out of the cannon pinion here. Here showing them side by side, you can really see the similarities. The hacking on the NH36 occurs when you pull the stem to the handset position. An arm within the keyless mechanism extends out and fouls the balance wheel. But anyway, the new movement arrived and we're ready to make this watch whole again. Now first let's check the timing. And we can see that the positional error is significantly less than with the previous model. I straightened the dial feet so as to recenter the hole in the dial. So I guess all that's left is to rebuild. I found the glass bezel to be extremely tight fitting and it actually required quite a lot of force from my case press. Now listen to this. It makes me wonder if this may have been the cause of the breakage, perhaps when it was being assembled. Nevertheless, all seems well now, so I'll continue. And well, I guess I was just unlucky with this one. I'm sure 99% of these models are just fine. But what do you think? Have you purchased one of these models? What's your experience been? Comment below and share your thoughts. Uh, but that's it for now. It is Christmas Day and time to go and celebrate with my family. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, then you can click the button below. And if you hit the bell icon, you'll be informed whenever I publish new content. But thank you for your support through 2019. We managed to burst through 100,000 subscribers and the channel is growing every day. It's exciting times. And a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters, without whom this channel may not exist. You guys are truly awesome. So Happy New Year and I hope 2020 will be absolutely amazing for you. See you next time. Bye-bye.